Digital coaching and online coaching is a booming industry. Especially after COVID, you know, the industry is growing substantially. And even before COVID, the online coaching space was dramatically growing. And with COVID, now the number of people wanting to become online coaches is just off the roof. So this is where as a coach, if you are a coach, or if you are somebody who markets for a coach, this is where you need to be a little careful, tread carefully, because I like what Warren Buffett says. When the entire world is moving left, you move right. The majority is always wrong. And now with a lot of people getting into online coaching and you have so many of these coaches who run train the trainer programs and stuff, you know, the online coaching space is getting really crowded. Of course, there's space for a lot of people to do the Zoom classes and you know, train people online, coach people online, but it's getting crowded. The same strategies are being used by all the coaches. If you are a coach and if you want to thrive in this business, if you want to grow your brand, this is where you should start doing things differently than what the rest of the industry is doing. And in this video, I will talk about the typical coaching business model, the online coaching business model. And in a future video, I'll talk about how you can differentiate yourself as a coach. So as time goes by, you are not just those one of the coaches that's you know coaching people out there but you are a coach that's going to be remembered and stands differentiated from the rest of the crowd <laughs> yeah, boy. oh and before we move ahead make sure to hit the subscribe button crush it if you're new to the channel hey my name is Karan Dharamsi and let's talk about the coaching business model as we see it today so like with any business the coaching business isn't really different it's a business at the end of the day and as a business as a coach as a marketer for a coach your job is number one to acquire customers at the minimal cost possible and in the coaching business now there are a lot of ways to acquire customers the models which are popular at this point is one by offering a lead magnet which is a free gift that coaches give in exchange of the contact details of their potential clients right and the free lead magnet the lead magnets are examples of lead magnets are you know free webinars the typical common lead magnet in the coaching industry and apart from that you know you give away pdfs ebooks right so those are again lead magnets to acquire the data of your potential clients and as soon as you get the data you start sending out emails and you uh, send out offers now we come to step two once you have the data you go to step two which is where you throw out front-end offers and front-end offers are low-cost offers which are thrown out to turn leads into customers now i have my apprehensions with front-end offers especially how it's done in india at this point you see the common front-end offers are one you run a zoom class for 99 bucks or whatsapp classes for five days for you know, 199 99 rupees and all those offers are great to turn leads into customers but my only apprehensions with those or kind of offers is you just diminish your value and you give away too much accessibility at a really really low price point i mean for 99 bucks if you're going to be accessible and if your potential customers and clients can just reach out to you for 99 bucks i mean hmm, i really wouldn't have that desire to work with a coach and pay him a high ticket amount later on because at 99 i have him responding to me and at 99 he's solving and answering all my questions so i am not a fan at all of the 99 rupees or 199 or the low kind of front-end offers in the coaching space if you plan to become a coach that's getting paid really well but nonetheless i see a lot of coaches doing it and it works in converting leads to clients but really if you will take my advice and again like i told you earlier in my video when the entire world moves left you move right right don't do it stay away from these uh, low ticket offers that can 
potentially diminish your brand value in the long run. And after these low ticket offers, coaches usually are recommended to go to a mid ticket or a higher ticket offer, which is you know one on one coaching program or group coaching program. So you see, it's a typical customer life cycle where you take somebody from offering them a free gift to a low ticket offer to a group coaching or one on one coaching program at a higher ticket price. And in India, another popular model is doing free events, which is kind of the real life version of webinars. And those work well in converting the leads into higher ticket. So my usual recommendation to a coach would be to go from the free thing, which is either your webinar or your live event to then getting into the paid uh, high ticket coaching program and just not having that low ticket offer, which just diminishes your brand value. And I have a better model, which I will talk about in one of the future videos, which is something that I usually recommend where you have nothing free, no low ticket, uh, and you're directly taking people from not knowing you at all to your high ticket offers. So this is the typical coaching business model that's going on in 2021 at this point in India and you know kind of throughout the world but like I said online coaching is a business and you need to think about it like a business and a uh, business is never going to survive or grow or scale just on the front end offers which is the low ticket price you know small offers those offers are only meant to acquire customers so if you really want to grow in the coaching space and make real money and make that your career where you have the financial freedom then you really need to figure out how to take people into that high ticket space and if you're seriously considering coaching or as a business and you plan to do it in the long run you also need to figure out that you're not coming across as cheesy or one of those typical coaches because think of it now there are so many online and digital coaches doing the same thing telling the same stories which i don't even think are real and authentic and following the same templatized formula which is you know, given to them by other coaches who are the train the tra who run the train the trainer program or who are in the digital coaching business space so if you are a digital coach please tread carefully plan your next moves very very carefully so that you know what at the end of the day when things become saturated when there's just way too much competition in the market and the marketplace is bored of the same webinars the same templatized stories and you know the same kind of offers you still have a way to navigate through that clutter and stand out as a brand as a coach and as somebody who's authentic and where you build a tribe that your marketplace connects to and we'll talk about how you could do that in one of the future videos make sure to hit that subscribe button i hope you have a gist of what's the coaching business model like in 2021 this is me karan dharamsi signing off for today i'll talk to you soon